Hello, and welcome back to my corner. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do like a three-dayer um, and smash it all together at the end. So today is Saturday the 26th, and it is Boulder Boulder weekend, also known as Memorial Day weekend. Um, if you guys are into the holiday, please do not thank a veteran for serving. Memorial Day is for people who have died. <laughs> in service of our country and uh, the greed that had sent them overseas. <laughs> so, <laughs> on that note, um, it is Boulder Boulder weekend. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm not 100% mentally prepared for it and I'm definitely not 100% physically prepared for it. <laughs> But, um, like I always say, it's just a 10k, it's not really that big of a deal. I know a lot of people are like, six miles is pretty far, and I'm like, not really. <laughs> a half marathon, that's pretty far. A uh, marathon is too far <laughs> for me. There, there will never be a full marathon, even if, like, I get down to my, like, healthy weight, and I, like, somehow begin running all the time, and really start enjoying it no nah. 13 is far enough <laughs> so yeah so it's just a 10k it's only a sixer like six and a quarter but I think it's gonna be really great because people are gonna be super amped while we're up there and it's like the biggest 10k and there's supposed to be like 50,000 people or something and um, two of my students are actually gonna be there like there's no way in hell I'm gonna see them because they both run like cross country and are super fast. So I'm like closer to the back because clearly I don't work out. I just like to go and beat my body up once in a while. And um, it would be nice if I could get out and run a little bit before the half marathon. Uh, I think last year I was doing the streaker. So I was doing at least a mile every day, sometimes more. Um, and I think the streaker is going to go on again this year, so I might actually just go ahead and do that, um, do a mile every day, and then by the time June 23rd comes around, I'll have done 23 miles and I'll be fine, right? <laughs> but the half marathon I'm, that I'm doing is the slacker half marathon, and I did it last year, and it's actually a really, really good one. Um, I'm probably not going to beat my time, though, since I haven't been training for it. But yeah, I've been out in the sun all day. I just like wash all my makeup off. Chin dab. <laughs> like, so I'm a little, little flushed. And I'm getting a tan line. I'm not going to like show you my boobs, but like in person you can see it. And like look at this action. <gasps> this is like the darkest shade I've been probably since I was a kid. <laughs> I like do not tan. It takes me a very, very long time to even get like less white. And I think like this semi less white slash a little bit red part, it's been, uh, let's see, from the days in May since May 4th, since I got, started getting some vitamin D, it's probably been like 15 days <laughs> and it took it that long to get like a little bit you would think that the whitest part of your body would like tan the, the easiest but it's not true and of course I have like all of my sun damage on my shoulders Ugh. so yeah um anyways back to the point it's boulder boulder weekend um not mentally or physically prepared for it but it's only a sixer so I'm not like my body's gonna die afterwards. It's only a six or it's not really that big of a deal. And um, yeah, so I do have to work tomorrow um, like 10 to 4, 30. And then I'm jetting up to Boulder. I got an Airbnb um, up there. I wasn't able to get a whole house this time, <laughs> which is what I normally like to do. But um, I'm just getting a private room in some dude's house that's close-ish to the starting line um and I did buy that parking spot like the parking pass 
So I'll have a parking spot. I'm still gonna have to get up super early, like just to go park my car. <laughs> like my wave is not until like 9.30, which I also need to check on actually. Um, to see what time it actually is and uh, yeah, so if it's at like 9.30, the first wave is like at 6.30 and everybody's gonna start showing up. So hopefully they only sold enough parking passes as there are spots. It's not like airlines that overbook their airline. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get up super early. I might take an Uber I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I might just crash out of my car after that. It seems like a waste of fucking money to get an Airbnb though, huh? But I just didn't want to be driving up there that morning, you know? That seems like even a worse thing because it is Memorial Day weekend and people are going to be heading to the mountains like in mass. And so on Monday, hopefully I can beat the traffic back. <laughs> So if my wave is at 9.30, it'll, I'm hoping to get done before an hour and a half would be really nice. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I've ever taken that long in a 10K before. Um, but yeah, so before an hour and a half. So if my wave is at 9.30, then I would get done by 11. Get to my car, which is pretty close to the finish line. And then cruise down. Hopefully I'll be home at like 2.30, the latest. Oh, sounds terrible. And I was gonna hit up native foods, but like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I'm trying to, like, that's my big thing. Like, what am I gonna eat before the race? But anyway, so I'm gonna check in again tomorrow, probably once I'm at the Airbnb. And then I'm gonna try and film during the day um and something like the star line and maybe like when i take a walk break hop on and film like a minute or something and then like smash it all together when i get home so that's the big plan it's boulder boulder weekend it's also memorial day weekend you know remember everybody that's died for this this country no matter what the reason why they were doing whatever they were doing <laughs> all right guys uh i'll catch you tomorrow see you all right dudes race weekend it's sunday i just got done with work slash my last drive and now i'm heading up to boulder pretty excited I'm not like super excited that I'm staying at a stranger's house in their room uh, like uh, their spare room because I usually like to be bougie about it and like get the whole house on Airbnb <laughs> but like that's a little out of my price range at this point but um yeah so I'm gonna be going up there it's like an hour drive and um, yeah I'm gonna try and like get in some some food up there there's a couple like indian spots like right where i'm staying so i might get some indian get some rice and potatoes yeah sounds delish all right so i'll catch you guys a little bit later tonight see ya all right dudes i made it to boulder sorry the lighting sucks uh <laughs> I've legit never stayed in an Airbnb where it was in the whole house, and this is awkward because these dudes just rent out their own rooms during the weekend and then sleep in the living room. What the? <laughs> anyway, so I went to, um, I didn't end up getting any Indian food, but I went to Whole Foods because the one up here in Boulder has, um, a Beyond Burger bar. <laughs> so if you saw my Instagram stories, that's what I hit up. And I got me a milkshake too. Um, it's only like six miles, so carb loading is not really a thing. <laughs> so I just like had me some, some good food. I also got um, like a salad bar from there too. And I'm just gonna hit that up in a little bit. 
just because I need some salad in my life. I got a big ass sweet potato. Um, they had the side of the bar, like the salad bar that was like vegan and vegetarian options and there was like two vegan things on it. The rest was vegetarian. One thing had fish in it and I'm like, fish is not a vegetable, okay? <laughs> So, but they had like a solid paleo bar, which that's where I got the sweet potato from. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I got. So I got, I got the, <laughs> I got the Beyond Burger and it was like spicy. It was like good. But I really do enjoy the, um, Vegan Man's Burger a lot more. <laughs> Cause it's just like, I don't know. It, like the Beyond Burger is just too close to meat, and I'm like, uh oh. And then as I was checking out from Whole Foods, I was like, yeah, I'm doing the Boulder Boulder, and like the chick at the register was like, me too, and she was like, word on the street is there's a bacon booth at the middle school, and I was like, I'm super vegan, so that's not really something that I'm into, but and she was like, oh. <laughs> like, you see me scrolling through, like having the Beyond Burger, uh, salad bar, and then two vegan baked goods, and you're gonna be like, hey, you want some bacon? <laughs> like, take a hint! <laughs> so yeah. Um, I just did my flat runner that's going up on my Instagram, uh, like now, and so for the rest of the night, it's like, eat, might eat that salad, I might not. Like part of it anyways and I got some watermelon for the morning I got some vegan uh, muffins for the morning <laughs> and so I'm gonna just drink like a bunch of water and I'm gonna work on my, my cross stitch project and then call it a night hopefully I can sleep okay, I'm gonna be scrolling out of here really early like I was saying because like I want to get a good like a decent parking spot <laughs> Not that it matters if I walk, like, a little bit farther, but I don't know. Like, I don't understand how they were like, well, we're going to sell these parking passes, but we're not going to guarantee you a spot. So, like, are you only selling enough parking passes as there are parking spots or what? <laughs> so, I guess I'm going to find out. Um, so, the first wave I found out was at 8, not 8.50. 652 I think is the first wave um so that's like when all the like elites that you had to like qualify uh to get in the race in that heat or uh wave and then I looked up mine mine is at 855 and like some odd seconds or something so hopefully let's see if the elites are going at I like really want to be parked by like 5.45 at the latest and then I can just hang out in my car, unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, cause like, I don't know, I don't know, I need to look at the parking map again. Cause there's one particular area that I would really like to park in, but like, I think I'm overthinking the parking thing, honestly. But I better get my $25 worth of parking space. Let me tell you that. <laughs> so, yep, I'm just gonna go and uh, work on this cross stitch here and see you guys tomorrow morning. <sighs> okay, bye. All right, you guys, it's the morning. Yay, it's race day morning. <laughs> Sorry, the film is like a little grainy or whatever. It's like nice and overcast out right now. This race is gonna be boss if this uh, weather holds up. So it's like 5.45ish. I was kind of pushing this parking lot and I was gonna stay snoozing for a little while, but I'm like, parking is my nightmare. So I'm just gonna go and deal with it and I'm gonna stop and get some ice for my salad because like I really want to eat it after the race. And I don't want it to be too grody. Um, so yeah, I didn't get hardly any sleep last night. I didn't like 
close my eyes to actually sleep until like 2 30. So <laughs> I mean my body was resting but my mind was not so we'll see how this goes and uh, yeah I'm gonna go scroll over to the parking lot now um, the Airbnb was okay <laughs> I'm pretty sure I stepped in somebody's pee this morning, and uh, yeah, if I ever live with like a dude like as a roommate, there better be two fucking bathrooms, or he better be clean as shit, because that was really disgusting, and there was like piss all over the fucking toilet seat. <sighs> fucking college dudes, man. They're not even adults yet. So yeah, let me go to school over there. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I made it. I'm in the parking garage. <laughs> parking is seriously my nightmare. Oh my god. <sighs> For something that's so organized, it feels really unorganized. Like fucking chaos. And there's people just teaming around already. Like the first wave doesn't even go for like an hour and like people are just getting out of control already. All I want to do is go out to sleep so hard. <laughs> I saw some people walking up to the start that had, like, my wave is NB, like, NB. <laughs> and I saw some people walking up that had NN. And I was like, what? Oh, there's a little stink bug in my car. One moment. Fella, up you go. Come on. Come on, everybody. Crisis averted. So I'm gonna sit, have some watermelon, um, have some muffins, and like try and catch some Z's. It's not even a quarter after six yet. My wave is not till 8.52, I found out, 8.52. So, I'm just gonna like hang out to like, let's see. It's, the Google map said it was about a mile away, the start line. Um, so, that's like a 20 minute walk or so. Like nice and slow. And so my wave starts at 8.52. 20 minute walk, so I'll probably scroll out of here at like 8, just so I can have time to like get in the porta potty line <laughs> if necessary and all that. So I have a good like hour and a half to fucking just sit. <sighs> yeah, in this parking situation, like I really wanted to park in that first, the first lot and they were like, oh, we can't have people waiting here like uh, get in the slot because like a lot of people didn't prepay so they're like doing cards and cash at the um, parking lot and they're holding everybody else up like why don't you just prepay like if you know if you're gonna come up here why don't you just prepay and then you'll save your ass five bucks and then you'll save everyone else a fucking headache like they should have made that lot just for people who prepaid it's the closest one to the finish. I mean, this one isn't really that much farther, but it's just annoying. So, yeah, I'm gonna give me some, some oatmeal. Oh, fuck, I wish I had oatmeal. Some, some watermelon, watermelon muffins. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm gonna take my phone with me on the, uh, the route. I'm gonna take some footage. while I'm running or walking or whatever the big plan is to just go as long as I can just like I did in the 5k and then just take walk breaks as needed so if my 5k took 38 minutes we'll call it 40 and that would be 80 minutes which is almost an hour and a half <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks, but I don't know. I want to see what happens. Why, uh, I get going. 
I don't know what the hell these people are fucking going over there for. I mean, I guess they just want to look at the race expo. Whatever Starlight Shenanigans is happening, but I don't get no fucks, I'm waiting. Alright, bye. I'm almost there. Yeah. Okay, my people. <laughs> I finished the race. Can you see? my skin I'm like super red and I'm salty as fuck like literally not uh, in a bad mood <laughs> like my, all the salt creeped out of my skin it's pretty exciting so um, yeah I think I missed my goal time of under 90 minutes by one minute but um, like I said on Instagram this is not like a good race for like trying to like win the match you know what I mean because like so many people were like walking super slow um like kids just like stopping in front of you when you're trying to go like yeah I'm like super out of shape but like all of these hazards in my way like slowed me down quite a bit so I think that I probably would have made it um if it was like a little bit more structured um yeah, like, the only part of my body that really was bothering me were my hips. So, like, my hip flexors and also uh, my outer thighs, my abductors. Um, and I think it's because of the way that I walk or run. I think that, like, I need to get a running analysis done by, like, a real coach. And, like, I'd really like to go and, like, get some um, training with, like, a, with pose method. Like, really bad. But there's only, like one coach in the state of Colorado that's like on the line and they only have workshops like once a year <laughs> it's like okay um yeah like I really would like to be better at running but I'm also super lazy so but um runner's world is having their streaker their summer streaker which they misprinted last last year and it, they said it was going to be like the 100 days of summer so from memorial day to labor day here in the states and they really meant memorial day to july 4th so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so today is day one um the streaker consists of one mile per day um for 38 days or something like that and so if you guys want to join with me, that would be awesome. I'm going to be posting this on my Instagram as well. Um, yeah, let's just do a streaker. Like, you can run or walk. That's what I normally do. Um, I do try to get, like, my mile time down. <laughs> I think I got down to, like, 10.30 or something last year. Um, so I've been scoping out some mile routes around my house so I can just get out, get it done, and come back. I'm um, not trying to do like crazy amounts of running, but also I do have the half marathon coming up <laughs> in less than a month, so I'm going to be her team. Hopefully um, doing this streaker, it'll, it'll get my body a little bit back in, in shape, and I really, really, really got to stay on top of my nutrition over the next month um, before the half marathon so I can like not die. Uh, but my mom is coming out. She crewed for me last year. It's not really like crewing because I'm not, <laughs> it's not an endurance race and I'm not an elite, like I'm super slow. I'm basically just there to finish. And um, so like she stops uh, along the way and I like say what's up. But I don't know if they're going to do that this year though because like they switched the parking situation. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. 
So I'm laying in the grass here, um, see you boulder, it's like super nice. Um, it was pretty sunny and warm on the race, like the on the route, but then it kind of got overcast again and now you can see the sun is coming out again. And like, <laughs> I definitely got my vitamin D today. So yeah, I gotta figure out how to get back to my car now. It's a mile back, like it was a mile out, like 1.2. And now it's a 1.2 back. So in total, I'm doing 8.6. <laughs> but it'll be good to like walk it out, like not um, at like a race pace. So, and then I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Like I wanted to hit up native foods right here, but I think getting over there is just gonna be a cluster. And I didn't bring any money with me. It's all in my car, so. Um, and I don't think that they take Apple Pay yet. That sucks, but I do have that salad to eat. But I want, like, I want something bad, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll go to Chipotle. Because <laughs> I just sweated all the salt out of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, I think it went really well. Uh, the race really is not, like, that vegan friendly. Um, and it's not that friendly to not <laughs> people who don't drink. I mean, it is what it isn't because, like, when you're running through these neighborhoods, a lot of people, like, will sit out with their lawn chairs or they'll have tents out with, like, snacks and, like, whatever. Like, I understand, like, they're just being nice and, like, they're trying to give people what they want. Um, but, like, none of it is vegan. <laughs> I think, like, they had some Otter Pops. <laughs> and those are, I think those are technically vegan. Um, but people had, there was a fucking bacon stand and I was just like, no, 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 no. So people were handing out cupcakes, and I was like, oh, my time just came in. Damn it. Yeah, I did miss it by almost a whole minute. <laughs> Oops. But, um, it was like 1.30.53. Almost. I almost got it. I would say I would do this again next year, but this was kind of bobo, you know what I mean? There's just too many people, those fucking kids just stopping in front of you. Um, yeah, so there was like a bacon thing, there was like people handing out Doritos just in a bowl, so like these people would be running by and like just putting their dirty ass hands in these fucking bowls of Doritos. <laughs> there were some people throwing like marshmallows and they were just all over the street. I was like, I hope you guys are going to come fucking pick up this trash, especially you Otter Pop mofos. And what else? What else do they have? At the finish line, so they don't do a finisher's medal because I think that this would be like way fucking more expensive if they did, but um, we got the shirt, we got this like, like a lunch bag, I guess, and uh, water and like Pepsi Zero and Diet Pepsi. Where's the fucking full sugar shit? <laughs> and, um, what else did we get? They were handing out like Activia, no thanks, I don't need no cow pus in my body, and then they had like free beer, and like the beer was flowing on the race course. <laughs> it was out of control, like Oscar Blues is a, is a sponsor of this, and like, I don't know if it was like sanctioned like that, but, but yeah, this is like probably the first time, at least in a while, that I've turned down free beer. That sober life, man. <laughs> Fucking whatever. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, people were out there like spraying people down with hoses. And I was like, people have their fucking phones in their hand. Oh yeah, that happened to me too. Because like I wore the wrong pants. And like I couldn't keep my phone in my pocket. So I had to fucking hold it the whole time. It was, I mean, it was okay. Like, I didn't, like, feel like I was going to drop it or anything. I just don't like having stuff in my hands when I'm running. It's annoying to me. Um, yeah, I saw, like, the nicest pair of legs I've ever seen in my entire life. And I also saw the most fit dude that I've ever seen in real life. And I was, like, I saw the fit dude before the race started. My fucking hand is falling asleep. And his ants, man. And, um, oh, and 
yeah, before the race, oh my god, his body was sick. It was like, it was like in, um, in, uh, Crazy Stupid Love when Emma Stone is like, oh my god, are you photoshopped? That's exactly what it was like. I was like, I wish I could have gotten a picture of him. He was like sick. He was just like, he, he looked like, like his body was just like on fire. And he wasn't like massive, you know? He was, and he wasn't like super cut up. He had a six pack and like, it was insane. And then like when, like real early in the race, some dude cruised by me, he had like super nice legs. And I was just like, dang, my legs like that. <laughs> it's getting a little cold out. I'm actually getting quite chilly. My body's gonna be really mad at me if I don't get more cut, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my life. But yeah, I'll post some uh, pictures here after this chat, um, and uh, also on my Instagram. Check out my Instagram for some other sh other stuff. And yeah, join me on this streaker, man. One mile a day, 38 days in a row. Run or walk or jog. <laughs> or do a combination of both. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I guess I'll be seeing you guys. Okay, okay, bye.